requires a single shot. Well, the hospital community in Provo gathered today to pay their respects to their respiratory therapist who died of COVID-19 one week ago today. That's right. We've been covering that story, and it is really an unfortunate situation there. Yeah, Garna Mejia has been covering that story here for us for a little while now, and she's not able to join us live here. But this is what some of the things that she's... Oh, she is there. Okay, I apologize about that. Yeah, good evening, you guys. I'm glad that we were able to get that connection, but it was really just a touching tribute here at Utah Valley Hospital. Earlier today, you saw hospital workers, some of them wearing their lifelike gear, coming out, lining the streets to pay their respects to one of their own. Now, that is 65-year-old Rufino Rodriguez. You saw uh, an escort of uh, police, uh, firefighters, family members, all wanted to come out and say their last goodbyes. Now, uh, Rufino is a third 30-plus year veteran of the NICU unit here at Utah Valley Hospital. During his career, he helped care for more than 30,000 babies, and he flew on the Life Flight team. Today, his family's prayers are turned to the community and hope for an end to that pandemic. It's uh, frightening, to tell you the truth, because it can happen to anyone. It can happen to me, it can happen to you, and you don't know what's going to happen. Um, I pray and wish that um, a solution can be found quickly because uh, people l die every day from it and it's, it's it devastating. Now, plans as of right now are for Rufino to return to his native country of Guatemala so that he can be laid to rest next to his uh, father who also recently died of COVID-19.